In the previous clip, we addressed an important issue among augmented reality users. How can we use the hand as an operator of augmented reality? We learned what solutions we will have to implement this technology in mobile and how to use hand and figure movement as a tool for user interaction with the application. We got acquainted with some practical stickers for implementing this technology and knew their applications. Now we are going to look at another practical topic. How we can share augmented reality data and content with multiple users around the world and view their AR performance online. When we mention several active users in a scene, it means that we have to implement the way of constant communication between users. These ways vary depending on the application and the location of the users. Suppose our users are in a specific environment and a short distance from each other look like a closed space and intend to connect an application as an internal network. For example, three mobile robots in a large hall are using an automatic navigation system based on image processing and intend to share data and information together. In this case, we will use methods that bridge the gap between users in the same space and others who cannot connect to this network. But most of the time, users are at a distance from each other and want to share their data while seeing in the same content in augmented reality. Therefore, the implementation method of this communication bridge should be implemented according to these distances. The first step in establishing a remote network connection is to design the login section which must be secured appropriately. That's why we need to have a system for registering and storing user information to manage the number of users, their level of access to the network and other features. Therefore, we can mention the powerful Firebase platform for their user registration system. This platform has several methods to authenticate users, including email verification, phone text messages, phone calls, and others. In this section, we want to build the main foundation of our network. We need a platform with a server for us as the primary data distributor between users, and users can receive data at any time without delay. As mentioned before, because users are in different parts of the world, this platform must have multiple servers worldwide to connect to our network without any problems. We can use the powerful Photon Network platform, fast and cheap setup, simple implementation in Unity Engine, has more than 10 servers worldwide, voice chat capability, coverage of more than 100 users simultaneously and easy synchronization with the augmented reality are some of the advantages of this platform. Let's take an example together and look at how the usability of network between three robots. Suppose that there are two mobile ground robots and a flying robot in a plane and all three of these robots are connected by a network. As you can see, robot A is on the front and robot B is on the left, and flying robot is flying above them. Imagine that a flying robot was able to find the site of a fire in the plane, and the goal is to direct robot A and robot B to the location of the fire. At this point, the flying robot announces the coordinates of the desired location to the other two robots through the network, and the other robots see the desired coordinates as a 3D object at its actual place in the plane. It should be noted that implementing this system in the video of how to use GPS coordinates in augmented reality is explained in the detail. Robot A and Robot B move to the designed location. In the meantime, the flying robot guides them and communicates how to return home in coordinates and 3D waypoints to ground robots. 
This is just one example of thousands of examples of multi-user network use and augmented reality use. Of course, by adding more features, the user's interaction within the environment can be shared in augmented reality by the network.